Have you ever wondered what the perfect smartphone should look like? It should probably be fast. It should have a large display, a good camera, and a nice design. We all know this, and I'd also add personally a fingerprint scanner for more security and a couple more nice touches. Now here is a phone that claims to do, to do all of this, the Meizu MX4 Pro. It comes right out of China and it features a sleek design, a 20 megapixel camera, a Samsung Exynos octa-core chip with 20 nanometer manufacturing process, a neat user interface and more. It's got a fingerprint scanner as well. Let's check it out. The Meizu MX4 Pro design is a display of craftsmanship with a solid build quality, thin bezels and nice in-hand feel. The frame of the phone is made out of metal but the back cover is plastic. Still, the MX4 Pro is reassuringly well put together. Meizu has done an outstanding job cramming in a large 5.5 inch display in a very compact for the size body. The bezel around the screen measures just 2.8mm which alone is a remarkable engineering achievement. Speaking of buttons, just like on the iPhone, there is only a single physical home key up front with a fingerprint scanner in it. It also acts as a back button. Meizu has inconveniently placed the lock screen in a hard to reach position on the top. Luckily, this is not really an issue as the handset can also be locked by long holding the home key. The Meizu MX4 Pro comes with a 5.5-inch IPS LCD display with an extremely sharp Quad HD resolution. The interesting thing in Meizu's latest phones, including the MX4 Pro, is the unusual 15 by 9 aspect ratio. When you hold the phone in a vertical portrait position, this results in a wider looking display, better fit for reading. Color calibration is not perfect, but not too bad either. Images appear vibrant with rich, juicy tones, but our analysis shows that whites appear bluish and color balance is off with overblown blues and greens. Color saturations are also purposefully blown out of proportion and look unnaturally vivid. Brightness can be cranked up really high though and while we've seen phones filter, filter out reflections a bit better, the MX4 Pro is definitely one that is fairly easy to use outdoors. It's worth noting that the brightness can also be reduced to very low levels, which is neat for nightbirds. The MX4 Pro runs on Android 4.4 KitKat with the FlyMe or Flyme 4.1 custom user interface. The skin is a deep overhaul of the looks of stock Android. Meizu does away with the app drawer and adopts an iPhone-like user interface with all apps on the home screen. Icons are larger than usual which is nice for usability and they also look modern in a simplistic way. Since we reviewed the original MX4, the FlyMe OS has been updated from version 4.0 to 4.1 and on the way it has gotten a slight visual rehash with iOS-like zoom-in animations that work smoothly and add a lot of flair and continuity within the UI. It does take some learning to grasp all the intricacies of FlyMe. Multitasking, for instance, works with an unorthodox swipe up from the bottom of the screen. You can also unlock the device and go straight into apps via gestures, and the list of peculiarities goes on. We're also happy to find the Google Play Store pre-installed on the MX4 Pro. Even though you don't have the usual suite of Google apps on board, you can easily down down download them via the Play Store. One of the highlights of the MX4 Pro is its M-Touch fingerprint scanner built right in the home key. It can unlock the phone and be used for purchases with a FlyMe account, but those are limited to Chinese content only. Good news is that it is very quick and accurate. The fingerprint scanner works in a way similar to the one on the iPhone. No swiping required, you just tap on the home key and unlock the phone. You can register up to 10 fingerprints. The MX4 Pro is powered by a Samsung Exynos 5430 system chip, the same chip used in the Samsung Galaxy Alpha. This is one of the first 20 nanometer solutions on a smartphone and while the chip does not fully match flagship grade chips like the Exynos 5433 and the Galaxy Note 4, it still does well. 
The Exynos 5430 here is a 32-bit chip that features an octa-core processor with four ARM Cortex-A15 and four Cortex-A7 cores in a big little configuration. There's 3 gigs of RAM and an ARM Mali T6228 GPU. In daily performance, the MX4 Pro runs and multitasks very smoothly. For all else, the actual performance depends on the mode you choose to run the phone in. Power saving, balance or performance. You select this in the battery section of settings. The default running mode is balance where the phone shuts down two of the eight cores. If you want to unleash the full potential of the MX4 Pro, we recommend running it in performance mode where all eight cores are unleashed. Finally, the power saving mode has just 4 cores running, but it does not seem to rob much of the smoothness of the MX4 Pro in daily tasks. For internal storage, you can pick between a 16GB, 32GB and 64GB models of the handset, but keep in mind there is no microSD card slot and you cannot expand the memory later. The MX4 Pro comes with a custom browser that boasts a nice touch-friendly design and it performs well. Scrolling and zooming around happens without a stutter. In terms of connectivity, you have 4G LTE on board with support for both the TD-LTE international standard as well as the FDD-LTE common in China. We still urge you to check your carrier supported bands to ensure that LTE will work for you in your market. It's also worth mentioning that the MX4 Pro is a single SIM phone, while many other Chinese phones use dual SIM connectivity. The Meizu MX4 Pro ships with a 20 megapixel main camera featuring one of the largest sensors on Android. It's a 1 to 2.3 inch Sony IMX220 sensor, as big as on the Xperia Z3. And on top of it, there is a 31 mm 5 element lens covered with sapphire glass and there is a dual LED flash. The camera app is very tastefully done, with a convenient interface offering a few shooting modes, auto and manual with control over shutter speeds, ISO and manual focus. Then there are panorama, document scans, micro, light field that offers after shot refocus and slow motion video. Image quality itself is good, but there are also some major drawbacks to it. The big downside is that the camera is slow. It takes long seconds between shots and even more importantly, autofocus is not very reliable. There is no continuous autofocus or face tracking and tap to focus is a hit or miss even in well lit conditions, which is not really acceptable. When you get in focus though, colors are mostly true to life with auto white balance working nicely and detail is good but not great. Up front there is a 5 megapixel selfie shooter that does a very good job. Turning over to video, the MX4 Pro can record in up to 4K at 30 frames per second. The bitrate of 4K videos however is lower than what we're used to seeing as 30 megabits per second versus 50 on say the Galaxy Note 4. And while video does appear fairly good, it does have a terribly obvious rolling shutter effect and sound recording comes off disappointingly low quality and it is muffled. Meizu started off as an MP3 player manufacturer and it has finally put those expertise to good use in the MX4 Pro by getting rid of stock hardware and instead equipping the phone with state-of-the-art amplifier and audio processor. The result is one of the best music quality you can get on a smartphone with the MX4 Pro. With a very loud output, a rich bass and a fullness that is not overwhelming in the mids and the crisp highs that reveal vocals nicely, we are able to enjoy various styles of music. Just hook it up to a nice speaker or get a quality pair of headphones. And keep in mind that our box came with no built-in headset. Call quality on the MX4 Pro is a bit below average but still decent. Sound in the earpiece lacks clarity and on the other end of the line voices sound a bit digitized. The handset comes with a larger than average 3350 mAh battery and this comes to its advantage. The phone ranks at the top of our battery rankings, lasting nearly 10% more than the Galaxy Note 4. 
in real life use, the MX4 Pro is able to last a full day easily and under average use you might need to charge it once every two days. Recharge times are not as stellar as battery longevity, it takes some 2 hours and a half to go from a dead phone to a fully charged one and this result is achieved using the 2 amp 5 volt wall charger that's included in the box. We already told you that the Meizu MX4 Pro comes with big ambitions and it mostly lives up to them. First, the price. It's actually more affordable than most smartphone flagships out there with a price of around 500 US dollars. That's if you get it somewhere out of China or a third party reseller. But what we're really happy about is the design, which is really sleek and the performance that is smooth. We're also mostly happy with the camera, even though the, the experience is not perfect and image quality could be a little bit better. But overall this is a very satisfying and very surprisingly good device from China and we definitely advise you to check it out and take a look at our full-on review at phonearena.com. Thanks for watching.